everyone here we are at the boat again doing a little upgrade and uh, this upgrade we're going to change these cup holders and as you see they're turning yellow they've only been there maybe six to eight months and they're already all yellowed out but that's not the worst part the worst part is this little tiny holes inside so when it rains it will drain but the only problem we have with that is that we have a storage under here and the water drops into the storage so everything in there is all humid and mildew and whatnot so we want to eliminate all that and keep it nice and dry so what we did is we bought these stainless steel ones it has a little hole in the middle but on the underside there's a little barb where we can put a little hose and we're gonna run a hose from this one to this one all the way through to the next one and next one and maybe do like a little fitting out here so the water would drain out instead of staying inside the uh, storage bin These are the new ones and uh, what we're going to do is take this off and put a rubber hose there with a little tie wrap so it holds in place. to uh, determine everything that I needed to do this whole installation what I did is I first did a little sketch for cup holders and then here we're gonna need a elbow like that and then here we're gonna need a T a T and another T which are these here And then all the way at the end, we're going to have the drain fitting, which is that one right there. We had to use a small, I believe it's 3 8 inside dimension for the holes to fit on the underside of these here. And then this here happens to be a 3 quarter. So what I did is I bought a little larger piece and then we're going to go ahead and reduce it from this size to this size right here and that should all work properly and uh, one of the best places for here and the keys to get everything you need ace best place to get everything you need here in Florida Keys all right so here we go things that we're doing here is we're gonna cut off the excess uh, ceiling around this hole here so that the new cup holder will sit uh, tight on the edge of the uh, uh, top here of the storage so we're just gonna cut away
uh, the new cup holders, they come with a little gasket. I don't know if you can see it there, all the way around. And it has an adhesive, so we have to take off the little cover, and then we'll be ready to insert into the opening here. So, I mean, this is one of the best ones that I've seen. It comes with the gasket, comes with the little barb here, with two sizes you can use, and it's stainless steel. Uh, I had three of them out here for the last uh, week and they still look brand new, nothing. The other ones turned yellow after about uh, a few months, they're all yellow. This one should be uh, better and it should last way longer than the other ones, we're hoping. Next thing I'm doing here is measuring from here to here so I can cut the little piece that goes from here to this one. And then we have to measure for the next shot up to the other side for the other two. So far, so good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna gonna put um, tie wraps at each connection so that it'll help it um, hold on better than just leaving it alone without anything. So we're gonna use these little tie wraps and uh, we're gonna tie wrap around here. hold in place there and not pull out as easy. There you go. There we go. repeat the same step here and all the other connections as well. Probably is a good idea to put the tie wrap like in the center of the bar. That way, it'll have um, enough space to uh, tighten it up, probably between the middle of it.
hold it tight so it won't uh, come off on you and then just cut the excess. We'll repeat the same step on all the other ones. Now we're ready, go and connect that in place and then the tie wrap for this one here we have to do it under there. Then we have to measure our next um, length there to cut to the proper size. a little bit uncomfortable but it's doable almost done here. We have everything connected. Now oh, from here, we're going down here and going with a through, through hole fitting so that the water will flow down here and then empty out overboard. All right, we just finished doing the hole for the fitting right there. We're gonna put some silicone around it and then seat it there. Then it hooks up inside here. With this piece that I just made here and this goes right on there. We're now ready to uh, put the um, silicone around this. And of course, even if we clean the tip, it still gets all plugged up. Take two silicone. All right, here we are. We're ready to add the silicone all around the edge of the uh, fitting here. 
so that way it will seal well and we have no motion coming in from the edge of the uh, fitting gear. That's all we need, just a little bit around it. This way. Put some more tie wraps on the connections wherever you're missing and we're done. Here we're going to take off the uh, little tape around the, the, the gasket so we can seal them back down now. Mind you, this is going to be easy. You can't really see them, but it's not impossible. And here we go. This is the first one. Push it down. Perfect. Let's sit in there. Let's do the second one. Hard, hard to grab, but uh, it's doable. Thank you. 
a razor blade may help to grab it. And the last one. That one. Just push hard down so it will adhere to the surface. And we're all complete. I gotta tell you, they look much, much better than the original ones. They were all yellow. In just a few months, they got all yellow. This one here, it's been on here for a week and it doesn't even have a stain on it. Stainless steel. You can get the uh, same ones at uh, Amazon and I'll try to put the link on the description so you could uh, check them out. The price is really inexpensive. I think four of them cost me less than $20 I believe and uh, I had like about $30 20 something dollars worth of uh, materials to do the connection for the water to uh, drain and we're done and everything will drain down this way and out that little fitting right there I think it works out pretty fine all right our upgrade is completed it has been changed from this to this. It is a huge difference. But most importantly, there's no more water coming in to the storage bin that has my electrical panel, my battery switch, and all that moisture was staying in there. And I can't understand why a Bayliner would have thought of it if they're going to put an electrical panel inside that bin there with a battery switch uh, there shouldn't be any water leaking or seeping into that compartment uh, from these cup holders uh, they all had a little hole in the bottom uh, before that and that's when I bought the boat it was only 40 hours used uh, I, I took over almost completely new and uh, that's the way it, it, it was on there so I, I just don't understand why they didn't think of putting a little drainage system. It was simple. It didn't take too long to do. It didn't cost that much. But it looks really, really nice. It'll drain through there again. I'm really happy with it. And I highly recommend it if you have any boat that has these little holes leaking inside the compartments. Um, I highly recommend that you do something like this keep that moisture out of it. It'll last way longer too.